So we've got the series leaders jersey there very near the front. Okay, so we have our juvenile males just coming through there from the start. So our race is now officially underway. So yeah, this is our sort of sports village where we have all the stalls and we've got big bubble hats like always. They look like they're doing some good business. And then we also have Gritty there and Pretty Gritty have a new, um, yeah, they have a new feature where you can buy your own custom kit. So if anybody has like a club or a team that they need some kit for, Gritty is the place to go. We can also see that the bridges might be particularly hard today, seeing as you might, there's not a very fast run in to them, which means that it'll be really hard to carry speed. It's also quite interesting to see different techniques that different riders use for hurdling and which riders do hurdle and which get off and run. In practice we could see there were some riders hurdling so we might be in for a bit of a surprise. Okay. So if you go up here to the stadium and seating, you can see most of the track and then we can see where our juvenile male riders are up to. So you can see some of them are there. I think that's probably about, you know, mid-pack, just going down into the woods there. So they'll then come down into the bomb hole and past the swimming pool and then come back around these slippy corners here. And for people who didn't know this, the grass over where we have the riders oh we can see them just coming down there the bright green of the lead series leaders jersey there but yes for people who didn't know there is for this grass banking area on the far side used to be a velodrome which is why it doesn't drain very well which is also another factor that might add it to it being really hard for the riders <laughs> it's nice that we've also got lots of spectators to come and cheer our riders on because I know and I'm sure lots of other people think this that it's really nice if you're riding there's lots of people there to cheer you on and support it's a very good dog there passing the hurdles I think it might be a gold lab puppy it's also I think really good that they have used bright colors such as green yellow and blue for the riders series leaders jersey because yeah you can really easily tell especially on camera where the series leader is which you can then use to sort of judge where the other riders are so we can see 
our series leader just coming through down that drop and will be coming soon over our bridges and we'll see how they manage getting up those whether they have to maybe run or they have to really push there so you can see them getting off and running up that hill and down over the first bridge let's see how he manages this you can see that quite a bit of mud has gathered on top of that bridge but he's really just, just trying to get up that and we've seen second place get up that quite considerably and he's also gained a little bit of time so yeah riding up that bridge could gain you a bit of time which obviously in a race where all of the riders are fairly close together means a lot so we've got two dcc riders there one of them is matthew mather and i think the other one is rowan cairns and rowan started on the front row so i hope he has a good race you can really see people trying to get up that hill and you can see lots of people sort of you know getting stuck together and that's uh will pew there in the allen valley Velo kit and you can really see if there's lots of people in front of you that it would be really hard to get past the sort of general pileup on the bridges there and there we go our leaders are just coming down and we can see maybe this is from the just that second place rider getting up the bridge but he has he has um taken into the lead just in front of our series leader so that's number one and number two So here we've got two Scottish riders. We've got PCC from Peebles, and we've also got Stepping Stains number eight, which are sort of a border space club. And then obviously we've got number three in the middle for. Okay, so there are two DCC riders. We've got number twelve and number six, Rowan Cairns and Matthew Mather. And that is Lewis Anderson for Manila number nine and then that is also ollie glass there number 14 for hen hawks and then we've got shipton rider and rotor racing it's quite nice that we see that they've got you know their tent and their full setup really good for like young riders like um juvenile rider to you know have that experience for that's um ruben i think yeah number 19 there so there we've got Wilf Pugh there, number seven, we've got number four, number, I can't quite see that person's number, 59, and number 17, that is Joseph Brown, number 17 there, and that's easily recognisable pink top. You can really see that they're struggling going up this hill, some people shouldering it, we've got other others just sort of pushing their bike and then we've got other people just riding. Some people are sort of stepping onto the hurdles, which might be quite a good option if you can't quite get over those hurdles. Okay, so we can see that all sort of strung out now. But we do have a breakaway. We have number two there, just in front of our series leader. And they are just about to come up that turn and then make their way onto the start finish. So if we go down to the start finish line, we'll be able to see our first and second place riders come through. Like I mentioned a bit earlier, if you have any club kits needs or any sort of custom team kit, then if you have a look in the gritty stall, they can give you some information about that. Just see number two glancing back there. And he does have a fair gap on the series leader, number one. But all could change. We could have, 
yeah, we could have a crash, we could have a mechanical, really anything could happen. Got these two riders locked together there. And that's one of the Stuart boys for number eight. For stepping stains, sorry. And then we've got Rowan Kearns, Matthew Mather, Lewis Sanderson. And if you fancy a treat after your race, we have the swimming pool, Morway's Water Park, just right next to the venue. And that is a really good, like, swimming pool, water park, really, yeah, good for anybody to go. So, yeah, you can go there, and that is a really, really good water park. So we've got number 11 there, number 19 number 45 there so we've got a sort of group on, of three riders and see a bit of a sprint there just to get away on, number 22 and then number seven wolf pew so we've got number 20 number 59 number 17 and number four, all sort of in a bit of a bunch together. But we can see our back rider there just really trying to catch on, and that is number 10. 13. And although the wind isn't too bad today, you still don't really want to be on your own. So that is number 21 going through there. Number 60. Number 23. really see people just struggling to get over those hurdles they are quite high actually i think they're about 40 centimeters maybe i think that is the max that they're allowed but yeah i'm not sure about that so another good dog there and although they don't look it from here those corners can be super slippy and the steep banks on the other side even though they are not too big they are actually really like sticky the mud is and um yeah it's can be really hard especially if someone's in front of you to get in we do have a good selection of dogs today i think that one is an australian double doodle such a good name There's a lot of, yeah, you can really see there's a difference between like the front and the back. And yeah, it can be really, really hard sometimes if you're sort of towards the back. And yeah, it's not very nice. 
Got some riders coming down here. I think that is first place. Yes, it is. West Lothian. Number two. And then we've got number one coming through there. So they're going to turn round there. And then they're going to come through this sort of snake-like trail. And then up and into our steep sweeping corners section so there we go we've got our group of northeast riders i have to say and um, we've got lewis anderson there and just behind him is rowan cairns and then just oh sorry no just behind lewis anderson is matthew mather and then just behind matthew mather is rowan cairns Like I mentioned a bit earlier, it, this has turned out to me, yeah, generally more running than riding, or at least a similar amount. So there we go, we've got third place just coming in there. Just going round those corners. And, oh, sorry, that's not third place. Ignore me. If you have a bit of spare time and if you are at the venue today, you can see that, yeah, head on over to the big bobble hat stand because they do have a sale on there. You can buy £10 for sale hats and they do have some new ones as well at the, not to the last national trophy, but the last one, I purchased my bobble hat of the season, which was the Turkish Delight bobble hat, which is a very good one. I do recommend it. It's a sort of salmon pink, purple, baby blue, and black. We've got a really close, group of riders there we've got about got about seven riders there really close together and then we've got number 27 just trying to get back on there and then we've got the two other riders behind them 81 and 23 just you can just see number 38 just slid into the tape there and that mud is so slow. You can just see number 70 there grinding to halt as you hit that mud. And yeah, already so many ruts we've seen formed. And over there we've got the more sort of sloppy mud, which, yeah, although it's sort of generally thicker, it can be just as hard if not easier than the sticky mud because sticky mud is very very hard to get off your tires it clogs up and yeah it's not good at all it can also be really slow like we saw our shibnam rider do there as you hit it you just sort of grind to a halt and it's horrible there we go stepping stains from scotland Number eight. <laughs> It's good to see that the under 14 boys is one of the categories that, yeah, it's still got lots and lots of people and we've got lots of lots of people competing in this event. Go on, Matthew. There's Matthew Mather, number 12. He's Doe inside CC. And then we've got our PCC rider. Another Scottish rider there, number 5. 
You can just see your bike sort of slips as you come around this corner. And many people, yeah, they pick the bikes up and sort of swing it around that corner because you don't want to, because if your bike goes, then generally you can go as well. There's Lewis Anderson just sliding onto his knees there. Number nine. I have to say, some of these people do not look like they're enjoying themselves. But, you know, in a race, you won't, you never do. And then, yeah, you get to the end and you're like, I did well in that. And then that's when you get that really nice sort of achievement. Go on, Rowan. It's Rowan Cairns there. And we've got Ollie Glass there for Head and Hawks, number 14. He's really trying to push to get up to number six, Rowan Cairns. <laughs> so we can see, well, we can hear that Matthew May there for Derwentside TC has moved up to fourth. And that's really, really good for him. We've got another DCC rider up there. That, I believe, is Ollie Lynch. Yeah, quite a recognisable yellow. I think it's a Culver bike. And there's Wolf Pew there, number seven. There we go, a local rider, Derby Mercury. And we've got another rotor racing rider there, 45. I think that's Johnson Jets here. Yeah. 19, that yellow and blue kit. And there's Joseph Brown there. Come on, Joseph! Go on, Joseph. I'm just going to cross here. <laughs> you can really see some of the riders almost, but not quite giving up, just sort of dragging towards the... Although it doesn't look at this hill, it's actually one of the hardest. We could see in practice so many people just getting clogged up. Oh, I think we've got a mechanical there. Oh dear. It's quite easy to, you know, rip a mech on this course because there's so much mud just all oh, clogged up and you can get it clogged up on your bike. Derby is a really good course for filming, I always think, because you can just see so much from this one field. And I think it was last year, yeah, last year, they had um, the start finish over in the like a sort of football field over there, and then you went into the woods. But they have slightly changed the start finish position. Well, no, they never changed the finish. But yeah, I think they've changed the start position because last year it used to, used to start over in the field up there, but now they're just using it like slightly before so that you can come through and go under the barrier. So this is number two and he is our leader. Really trying to scramble up there, trying to get a good gap. He does have a good gap though on our series leader in his recognisable green jersey and he's not given up either <sighs> come on well done So we can see that first and second place have a roughly six second gap, maybe. 
so, sorry, 16 second gap. So that is quite a good gap. And yeah, he yet has, oh, and sorry, that is number 33, Zav Clithero as well. He does race for Dome Side Cycling Club. So I don't think we've got long of our race left. Yeah, two laps to go. So here's Matthew Mather, he's, you know, Come on, Matthew. You can really see it's almost like formed a sort of berm esque shape in the mud there, where because you can see people have generally come up the inside and cut round and then gone really tight. And that does give you a good run in for the next corner. So that is Lewis Anderson there really struggling you can see it on all the faces so yeah like i mentioned earlier this grass here used to be part of an outdoor velodrome and yeah maybe well i think that probably that is why you know, it doesn't drain very well and you often get lots of like piles up of mud because yeah, it's not like it's going down into soil. There will be concrete from the velodrome. That's number 34 there. And he's followed by 37. And just so you know, if you haven't really had time to tune into our live streaming of this race, you can also watch it later on. So that's number 49 there. So yeah, you can watch it later on and it will be available on my YouTube channel. Go on, Lewis. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's not the right person. I think that is Freddie Winkley there. Yeah, number 31. 58 there. Really pushing. Number 44. And number 66. Another local derby. Uh, sorry. <laughs> another local derby Mercury rider. Something I never get about derby is people in Derby call crumpets pikelets. And they also say duck a lot. Matlock Cycling Club, they're another fairly local club. Here we go, number 79 there, number 53. I th yeah, that's another Shibden rider. We have got so many Shibden riders and yeah, really good talented club. And yeah, it's really nice to see that there's lots of these big clubs that have lots and lots of riders coming through. And yeah, they, Shibden have like, they have good people in nearly So if we head towards the finish line, we should catch the leader coming through. And I'm not sure what they'd be laughing in. I would guess for maybe an under 16, like a relatively fast under 16, it would be maybe, maybe just under 10 minutes. So I'd say maybe the leader would be 11, like 11.50, maybe something like that. quite a long course but seeing as the race is only half an hour you're not gonna get that many laps in I would say you would probably get maybe 
the leader would get. Mm, just like three maybe, just more than three. It's nice that we have quite a large thriving area where we've got lots of different stalls. We've got our coffee vans, we've got our sort of barbecue style. Well, we've got Park Hill Farm, which are, yeah, sort of like a home farm barbecue style stall. And then we've got another coffee van over there. And then this is where we have our sun on. And it's also where lots of people do their rollers. And then we've got our podium there. So it's really nice that we have sort of a stretched out area where if you maybe after you've finished racing, you can just come and you can have a look at maybe the stalls or you can treat yourself to a coffee or something similar to that. want to say thank you to the people that we have for the ambulance services because they're really vital to having on our event so there's our leader just coming for the finish there and yeah we'll soon see our second place rider which is our also our series leader although I'm not sure whether that will stay after today, we've just seen the confetti go off. It's normal. And, oh, we've got a bit of a sprint there. I think that is number 74 instead of number one. But actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 74 got it um, over number one, but I'm not sure whether they were on the same lap or what the situation was with that sprint. That's Marcus Box there, number 47. He's another Northeast rider for NSP, North Shields Polytechnic Cycling Club. And we've got number 57 for Shibden. And number eight, Stepping Sims, one of our Scottish riders. We've got another boy just picked the other to the line, number 73 to number 55. Okay guys, so I really hope that you can join us for our next race, which starts at 11, sorry, 1.35, and that is the Youth Males Race. There's Matthew Maida. I think he's fourth place. He's number 12 for Dermot Side Cycling Club. Okay. Bye guys.